All right, Amy Talbot is in an art Entrepreneur. Did I say that right? Is that That's the right. correct way to say it? <laughs> Instead of an entrepreneur, she's an artpreneur because, well, you're a pencil crayon artist. I am. This yes. is very unique. Now, how many pencil crayon artists are out there? Uh, I only know about one in uh, in Ottawa. Yeah. So it's pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so where does your love for this come? I mean, you're an artist by trade, right? So you you love you love creating artwork. Yes, I was first introduced to pencil crayon art when I was in high school, and there was a local artist who came in, showed me pencil crayon art, and that impacted me so much that years later I took the medium up myself. Okay. Yes. So what does it mean to be a, a pencil crayon artist? Uh, it means I'm good at what I do and I like to use pencils. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't realize the versatility that comes with pencil crayons. It, what you'll see today will obviously open up your eyes to okay. new possibilities. Yeah. Because, so you've got uh, basically like you've got a, a color with Amy Knight, which is a lot of fun. Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll yes. talk about that coming up in moments. And you also got an in-studio class uh, that, that you do out of your Starting home in soon, Sitzville, yes. right? Okay, so we have lots of pencil crayons here. Yes. Uh, so what's going to be happening here? Are you going to be uh, teaching me how to pencil crayon? I am. <laughs> I'm going to show you some very fundamental, very basic techniques to pencil crayon art. Okay. And I brought in an example. So I teach in the school system and I brought in the ladybug drawing. Okay. So we're going to take it easy on you and start off with something very basic. So did someone actually draw this to start? Yes, I drew it for you. Wow, okay, because that, <laughs> that right there looks like a lot of work. So. Yes. Okay, so, so. so so how do we start to, to create, because you know, you hear about kids coloring and this and that, and they yes. go out of the lines and it gets a little messy, but yes. obviously with your technique, like we're hoping to stay within the lines. Yes, so when I talk about fundamental techniques, I'm talking about very basic things like that. So it's outlining and coloring in, and this helps you keep the color where it needs to be inside the boundary. Okay. And also coloring with the direction of what you're coloring. So the line, if you're curving, you want to continue to follow that curve and you want to follow the direction. Okay. And that will help you fill it in more evenly. Okay, all mm -hmm. right, so teach me, because I am yes. not a okay. good colorer. Uh, so put that down there. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, okay, so let's start with reds. Yes. And your pencil point is very, very important. You want to have a sharp point on your pencil at all times. It needs to always be sharp. Yes, because if it's not sharp, then you do sloppy work, and we don't want sloppy Nobody work today. Nobody wants sloppy work no. here. So, pencil crayoning. Yes. Okay. Um, I normally use a piece of tracing paper. Yeah. Should I rip it or no? You can do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> Who am I to say no? So when I draw, yeah. my hand never touches the paper, ever. Okay. And the reason why it never touches the paper is because I don't want to get the oils in my hand to deposit yeah. or to smudge any of the work. Okay. So a hand, a piece of paper stays between my hand and the drawing that at all sense, times. That makes sense, right? Okay. Yes. So if this is, and it's a good thing you're over there because I'm a lefty. Yes. You don't want to buff elbows. <laughs> okay. Right? Sure. Okay. So one of the basic things is if we outline. So here I'm going to come along here, outline. Mm. And then what I want to do is color inwards. So should I be outlining right now? Yes. <coughs> so outline and color in. And this will help you keep the red inside the ladybug. So you okay. want to continue to follow that line. So if you need to shift your paper and continue to follow in that direction, that's what you need to do. And this is what's going to help you fill Ooh. in the paper more evenly. So this is what I teach to students. Okay. And this will improve your coloring um, dramatically. Yeah. Is it hard to pick this up though? I mean, did you, when you have when you do your workshops, do people sometimes not get it, or is this something that people? Well, I think people are drawn to it because they just think it's incredible how you can do that with pencil crayon. Wait just a minute! I am coloring on the your... wax paper. <laughs> 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 you want to color the actual ladybug? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, they're actually very much. Uh, I have no I think idea. They're drawn to it. And yeah. they want to know more. So yes, the appeal is there for sure. Okay. <laughs> so you want to work in and around all of your spots like that. Yeah, but look, you're like an expert. I'm, I know, I'm just, you need to catch up. Why was I coloring the wax? But how many, have you ever seen that happen before? No, or is that, you're a first. Is it really? Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yes. So yeah. see how it's filling in more evenly. Okay. Um, you know, you want to choose a surface that probably doesn't have any grain. Yeah. Which is... It's a good surface? No, because if you feel no, the grain sorry. from the surface, <laughs> it'll show through when you're coloring, yeah. right? So, okay. so yeah, so there's an example of why you would add, or okay. adding one color. But now if you wanted to include another color, so the whole point of pencil crayon art is that you can layer color. <laughs> and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to introduce a darker red. Oh, and I'm going to do the same the thing. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Oh. Yeah, I and should probably just watch you. Yes, so yeah. what I'm doing is I'm just... This is when pressure starts to play in. Oh, I can so feel it. So heavier pressure, and this is how you create depth and volume. Oh, that kind of pressure. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it's all pencil crayon like this. You just move around. <laughs> <laughs> I am not good at this at all. 
That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We do only have a couple yes. of minutes, so I okay. want to make sure that uh, um, unless there's another thing you want me to destroy here or, or just no, no, no. I just want wanted you to have a go at it. Yes. Okay. That, that's good. Look at this artwork. Uh, if we can pan over there, that this, so this is actually stuff that you drew. Yes. Or, so or, that one, the car is a Dodge Custom Royale. That's a '56. Wow. So I have 30 other cars at home. That's how much I love drawing cars. Really? Yes. And the other one is a picture of the Converse shoes. So I grew up with Converse shoes. My girls yeah. own a pair, three pairs of Converse shoes. So that's what made for that piece. How long would that take, these, these pieces of art? So typically anywhere from a week to a week and a half, depending on size and detail. A week? Yep. Okay. So next time you're coloring and you're 10 minutes in, just think Amy's still coloring. <laughs> and I'll still be coloring <laughs> the wax paper. Yes. Uh, yeah. That is something. Tell us about your uh, Color with Amy Knight that's coming up. So I have an event. This is my first time ever running a Color with Amy Knight. It is a parent and child event. Mm -hmm. It will be next Wednesday, uh, March 15th, and there are two sessions. 6 to 7.30, the first session has sold out already, but I still have spots available in my later session, which is 8 to 9.30. Okay. And then people, you're, you're inviting people to your home as well for workshops? Yes. Yeah, so my in-studio classes will be starting March 25th. And that's from, I'm only doing kids this, this time around because I'm so busy in the schools. But yes, if you have a child who has some artistic ability, mm -hmm. you want to nourish that and have them maybe work with a professional who can bring that out of them a little bit more. And it's very therapeutic as well. It I, is. I it puts you in the zone. It Everybody wants zone. to be in the zone. Do you ever get a sore hand? Because that's my problem when I'm like writing or coloring. Uh, or no, like that. I think I mentally start to lose it at some point. Yeah, you, well, and you must I need take to breaks take a this. break and come back. But no, I've built up a tolerance. This is beautiful. Well, yes. thank you very much. This thank is you. Work, that work Keep working there. at it. Um, yeah, I'll bring this to my other job. And if I have some downtime, I'm going to be coloring for sure. <laughs> Perfect. Um, AmyTalbotVisuals.ca for more information. We've got more daytime coming up. Do not go anywhere.